The other day, I decided I wanted to learn 3D stuff. So I hit up Asset Jesus, downloaded this awesome natural scenery pack, and completely failed to use it in Kado. In today's quick tip, we're going to look at what's wrong with it and how we can fix it. First up, it's worth noting that this asset pack comes with a bunch of different file types. We are only interested in the GLTF format, so we're going to delete everything else. Now with that done, we can jump over into Godot, let it import everything, and see what we've got. So here in our new Godot scene, we can set ourselves up as a 3D scene, and we can drag in something. Let's take this bamboo. Problem is, it doesn't appear to be there. We can see it's in the scene tree, but we can't see it. If we have a look around, there it is, off to the side. It's got a strange offset happening. For us to fix this, we're going to jump over into Blender. Here in Blender, we'll start off by just deleting everything that's in the scene, so that we're starting from scratch. We can then import one of our models from the Kenny pack. We'll import it as a GLTF. Now we can see that our model is offset from the center. If we set this back to zero, and then re-export our scene, we can load it into Godot and check that that's done what we expect. Note that in the exporter here, we've got three different types of file format that we can use. According to Godot's documentation, the binary format is the best performance, so that's what we're going to go with. Back here in Godot, we can now import the updated model. As you can see, it doesn't have that weird offset. So we can see that exporting without the translation from Blender is going to fix our models. But obviously there are a ton of models in this pack and we don't want to do that for each of them. Fortunately, Blender comes with its own scripting API, which allows us to write Python scripts to do just about anything. I've written one of these scripts here for us. It takes in an import and export folder. We'll do a little bit of validation. We have a method here that will clear out everything in the scene so it deletes materials and objects. The bulk of the script is this bit down the bottom here where we grab all of the files in our import folder. If it's not a GLTF file, we'll just skip it and we'll carry on to the next file on the list. The first thing we'll do when processing a file is delete everything in the scene to make sure we're working from a clean slate. We then do a little bit of debug logging so that we can see the process in the console. We load in the GLTF scene. We then remove the location from every object in that scene. Here we're setting the translation to zero in the X and Y, but keeping the objects Z transform. In Blender, Z is the vertical axis, so we're going to keep that just in case there's floating block or something. Finally, we can just export our scene and log that we've succeeded. While the script is running, you'll see that the cursor is flashing like this. To see our actual export, we need to go up to this window menu and pick the toggle system console. After running the script, we've got a folder full of files we can use. And that about does it for this quick tip.